Uh, hello everyone. Well, Mike and I, we wanted to go for a walk on the, out in the woods in the forest and we come across sheep. We just can't seem to get away from them. No, that's all right. They're pretty nice. It's kind of neat to see them. And we are almost getting surrounded by them because they go way back there. And way over there, just thousands of them. Okay, I said I wasn't going to do any sheep videos, but I can't get away from them here. It is kind of cool. They just kind of walk around out here in the woods. I know. Now, are they eating the green grass stuff, or do they eat the dry, straw stuff? No, they'll eat, well, they'll eat both, but they'll like the green grass, and they'll any leafy stuff that they like to eat that, they'll eat weeds. Whatever this is, yeah, they don't like it. Okay. I don't know what that is, but they leave it behind. That's some kind of weedy, huh? All right, this forest has had fire, I don't know how long ago, or how many years. But yeah, you can see remnants of burnt trees and stuff. They're slowly walking, seems to be this way, towards us. But now they're, <laughs> they're going that way and that way. Back east. Well, if they're coming our way, they're going around us. They just made a hole right here. <laughs> they are as far as you can see, all the way that way. Yeah, that's, yeah. I thought maybe if the dog saw us, they would come up to us to investigate, but I don't, I don't think we po pose a danger, do we? <laughs> <laughs> We're just looking. Don't get in an argument with the Great Pyrenees. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I have a question for you. See this cluster of trees? I have no idea what kind of trees they are. Why do, do oh, why do they grow in clusters like that? There's another little cluster. And there's another cluster. Why do they do that? Anybody know the reason? It's neat to run into these clusters of trees, but Wondering why that happens. Yeah, the sheep are back there. We're walking away from them. But I think they're coming this way too. Get down over here. All right, here, now back by us. And here. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. And this is probably a skeleton of what? What do you think? Too big for a sheep, right? If these parts go together. So Deer. Like elk. Cow. I don't think it's a cow. A deer, maybe a baby elk or something like that, but... Something small. That's got a small pelvis. 
and its spine is about yay long, so I'd say it's probably something like a deer. <clears throat> Yep. Or a, maybe a baby cow. You see that? In there, that's pretty big. Okay. All right. I guess we're over that way. And there are lots of holes. I wonder what's in there. No, I don't really wonder. I don't want to know. Okay, we've run across these, what looks like trails or maybe road, but they're actually not. I think we figured out that they were from big equipment to cut down the trees because all along these trails are burn piles and cut down trees. Oops, where's that finger? There we go. All along the trail here. So maybe it is from the big equipment for coming in here, but we don't recognize or see any car tires or anything like that. So maybe they're old, but maybe the darker they are, the fresher they are. We've got a lot of burn piles here. There we are. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.